Have you ever felt trapped by your own habits, like a bird in a cage, longing to fly free? This is a story of transformation, a journey from the shadows of old habits to the light of new beginnings. Stay with us and discover how a Zen Buddha master unlocked the secret to breaking bad habits. In a peaceful valley surrounded by hills and quiet forests, there lived a wise Zen master named Liang. He was very smart and kind, and people knew him for helping others with their big problems. People from many places came to him, looking for help and to learn how to find peace inside themselves. He was also known far and wide for his profound wisdom and his ability to help people overcome their deepest struggles. Therefore, people from all corners of the land would come to him, seeking guidance and enlightenment. One day, a young boy named Tao approached Master Liang. Tao was troubled by his own habits, habits of anger, laziness, and fear. These habits had become like heavy chains, holding him back from achieving his true potential. Master Liang, Tao pleaded, I am ensnared by my bad habits. No matter how hard I try, I cannot break free from them. Please, show me the way. Master Liang looked at Tao with kind eyes and said, To conquer your habits, you must first understand them. Come with me. He led Tao to the base of a great mountain that loomed over the village. The mountain was steep and treacherous, with paths that twisted and turned in every direction. This mountain, Master Liang began, is like your habits. It is vast and daunting. To change your habits, you must be willing to climb this mountain. Tao's eyes widened in fear. The task seemed impossible, but he trusted Master Liang and nodded in agreement. The next day, they began their ascent. With each step, Master Liang shared his wisdom. Habits, he explained, are formed through repetition. Just as we climb this mountain one step at a time, habits are built one action at a time. As they climbed higher, Tao began to understand. His anger was like the sharp rocks that jutted out along the path, sudden and dangerous. His laziness was like the thick mud that made their steps heavy and slow. His fear was like the fog that clouded their vision, making it hard to see the way forward. Master Liang taught Tao how to navigate these obstacles. When you feel anger, he said, pause and take a deep breath. Let your anger pass like the clouds above us. When laziness grips you, he continued, focus on the next small step you can take, not the entire journey. And when fear clouds your mind, remember that each step forward is a step out of the fog. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months. Tao and Master Liang faced many challenges on the mountain, but with each step, Tao felt his old habits slowly losing their grip on him. Finally, they reached the summit. Tao looked out at the world below, feeling a sense of accomplishment and freedom he had never known before. He had conquered the mountain of his habits. Remember, Tao, Master Liang said, the journey does not end here. Every day you must choose to walk the path of good habits. It is a journey that lasts a lifetime. Tao nodded, understanding the truth in Master Liang's words. He was ready to face the world with new habits, habits of patience, diligence, and courage. Just like Tao, you too can conquer the mountain of your habits. It takes patience, understanding, and small, consistent steps. If this story inspired you, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more tales of wisdom and transformation. Together, let's embark on a journey of self-improvement and enlightenment. And so, the story of the Zen master and the mountain of habits spread far and wide, inspiring countless others to break free from the chains of their bad habits and climb their own mountains one step at a time.